Okay, well, so the first thing I want you to do now, yes, is to look at the board, yes, and you are going to say at home if you recognize, if you can recognize these logos, yes, okay, so I want you to say at home these icons, yes, these logos, yes, okay, uh, yes, this is Facebook, yes, and uh, this is Twitter, yes, uh, this is Instagram, look, Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, uh, what's that? Android. Android, yes, uh, Skype, Pinterest, yes, okay, this is the Wi-Fi connection. No. What's that? Spot this is a Spotify, but I forgot, yes, okay. Well, so you have Facebook, you, I, I'm sure that you recognize, yes, I have a help here, yes, okay, Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, WhatsApp, uh, Pinterest, yes, okay, so you have Snapchat, yes, Snapchat, yes, okay, uh, then you have um, Android, uh, what was that, um, the one of the music? Spotify, yes, Skype, yes, okay. So these are logos, yes, uh, thanks to logos, yes, you can recognize, yes, things, okay. Let's go to the other one. Okay, well, here we have a lot of logos. I want you to, to find them, Samsung, yes, okay, Adidas, um, Google, McDonald's, yes, okay, Coke, yes, okay, you need level yes mastercard apple yes you have apple yes the most important company for me one of the most income important companies yes okay and there you have more the quality of this picture is not very good but you have bmw ford yes okay chevrolet um ferrari yes Peugeot, mitsubishi Yes, logos from cards, yes, okay. Then you have other logos like Mercado Libre, like Burger King, McDonald's, Coke, yes, okay, MasterCard, yes, the, the logo, the famous logo of the NBA, yes, the Nike, Starbucks, yes, okay, then the famous logos of Pizza Hut, Everybody knows that this is a pizza hat, but it's a um, it's a game of um, words. If I can say this, okay? Because hat, yes. What is hat? To me. Mm -mm -mm. Hat. What is hat? Um, refugio. Cabaña. Yes. Entonces aquí hay un juego de palabras con pizza hat. Yes. Okay. No one out pizzas the hat. The hat, yes, okay. Pero juegan con eso. Pizza hat, yes, es una los hats, las cabanitas, pero también suena como sombrero. Entonces tienen un logo de eso, un sombrerito. O sea que es un juego ahí de lean lo del logo y eso, que, okay. Pizza hat, yes, okay. Well, okay. So these are uh, logos, important logos, yes, okay, because on unit 10A, we are going to talk about uh, logos, if you can recognize them, I'm sure when you saw this picture, when you have recently saw it, seen this picture, I'm sure that, that you recognize them, yes, okay, um, then you, we are going to um, read, yes, uh, a text on page 118, and you have to say, what is wrong in the logo of Apple, yes, in that computer, okay? But first of all, that was all from here. First of all, we are going to go to what? We are going to work on pages 117, 100 and, um, yes, I have to do this, okay? Pages we are going to work with in class, pages 117, 118, yes? 119, 120, yes, and 121, yes, in class, yes, okay, a la par de la video class, okay, there we go, 
Now we are going to go quickly because <coughs> you already know all the grammar. So if you have to look at page 117, 117, look at the photo. What products is the man selling? What do you think they are used for? Yes, think about it. What products uh, is the man selling? Because he's going on his bike, by bike. Yes, and well, they are very strange. Yes, okay. It's a very nice photo, of course. And then we're going to go to it. A listening, we're going to listen to a video program, a radio program, okay? Well, so um, it says, the photo shows a man on his bike, I already know, in Vietnam, yes, Vietnam, and he's selling baskets, yes? They are used for fishing mainly, but also for storing food, yes? They are very nice, yes? Okay, and he looks very happy. Yes, okay, and his bare food. Yes, what is bare food? The calcio. Yes, okay, so um, I can see a banana plant there. Uh, I can see maybe it is a lemon tree on the right, on the left. Uh, I can see um, vegetation, yes, okay, and it says that it's in Vietnam, yes, and apart, it's a selling basket in Han Yang, yes, okay. So now we're going to um, describe the picture at home. Yes, okay. For example, the man looks very happy. He's in Vietnam. I can see a banana plant there. I can see some trees. Uh, on the left, I think it is, a, I can see a lemon tree. I think it is a lemon tree. And the man looks very, um, looks happy. Yes, okay. And he's barefoot. Yes, and he's wearing a kind of, um, I don't know, green or brown sweater. It's the same color of the baskets. Yes, do you agree with me? Okay, so now we're going to listen to a part of a radio program about the man in the photo and you have to answer the questions, okay? And then we're going to say, you're going to tell me at home, you have to talk at home. Do you usually buy things uh, from local producers or sellers or do you normally buy products from big international companies? Yes, okay? Good. And then uh, tell your partner about the things you bought. Yes, the last thing you bought. Clothes, uh, books, something online. Uh, what was it? Where did you buy it? Uh, why did you buy it? Do you know what company made it? Um, do you know where it was made? Yes, okay, good. Let's go. 29. Unit 12C. 1. The artist Georgia O'Keeffe is probably best known for paintings of flowers and natural habitats. This painting is typical of her work. It's a mountain range in New Mexico where she lived later in her life. There we are. That was the activity book. There we are. Track 79. Unit 10 opener. This man and his family make these baskets in his home in Hung Yen in Vietnam. Local fishermen buy them for catching fish, but some people... Okay, so, uh, uh, who are his customers? Yes? Local fishers, yes, okay. Why do they want to, why do they buy these uh, things, these baskets? Catching fish. To catch fish, yes. But some people also use them in the home for storing food. Every morning the For storing food, yes, okay. People too, normal people and fishermen. And puts as many baskets as he can on his bicycle and slowly cycles around the area. As he goes, people stop him to look at the baskets and discuss a price. At the end of the day, he hopes to arrive back home with none left. Okay, so he carries all the baskets he, he can 
I, oh my God, there are a lot of bandits there. Uh, I admire him because he, can, he has a special kind of um, device to put all the, the baskets together, yes? Yeah? So, of course, he wants to arrive home without none of them, yes? Because if he has enough none of them, so it says that he could sell all, yes? All the baskets, okay? Well, so number two, at home, in his home, uh, number two, fishermen for catching fish and other people for storing food. And where does he sell the basket? In the local area. Yes, okay? Well, so, um, the thing is, do you normally buy uh, at big companies? Sometimes I buy uh, at big companies and sometimes I buy uh, to local producers. Um, I would like to buy local producer, producers more than I buy, but the thing is sometimes the quality is not the same. Yes, for example, uh, I prefer to uh, buy a pair of jeans in a, a very known company than rather than buy a pair of jeans that is not, a, uh, uh, you know, maybe it is a local company, it's from Argentina, it's made in Argentina, but the quality is not the same. Yes, okay, you put it, uh, you use it and then you put it um, in the washing machine and it's a disaster because it lost the it has loose it had lost the color yes um, and the quality is not the same yes okay so uh, half and half yes okay the last thing I bought was uh, a kind of um, a kind of um, suitcase a pink suitcase with uh, a lot of things, a lot of stuff for, nail, for the nails, but it wasn't for me, it was for my daughter, yes, uh, it's from, I don't know, uh, the company, Mimosa or something like this, um, but it was made in um, China, yes, okay, and um, you have all the tools for uh, doing your nails and everything, and um, the thing is that I was going to say, and I bought it through Mercado Libre, yes, online. Yes, okay, you have to say at home, what was the last thing you bought? And where is it from? Yes, and where did you buy it? Yes, okay. So let's go very quickly to page 118, 119, okay? And then 120 and 121, yes, okay? Good. So, uh, well, that was the lesson in Logos. Yes, okay. You have a logo there in the computer and you have to say uh, what is wrong with it. Yes, and did you know? Yes, it's wrong. The logo of Apple is used on Apple products. Yes, the logo on the laptop is upside down. Yes, okay. And you will read here that then there was a change in the logo because uh, it was when you open the the, um, the laptop, it was upside down, but then there was a change, yes? They changed it because uh, they wanted other people to see it correctly, yes? And that is the thing, yes? It says here, that is the, the thing. It says, why was it so important to Apple? Because when you see other people using a product, yes? you are more likely to buy it. Do you agree with it? Yes, okay, suppose you uh, you saw someone uh, wearing uh, jeans, uh, for example, um, uh, a Chanel, well, you know, not a Chanel, but uh, a Versace, yes, pair of jeans, yes, okay, and you, of course, you will see uh, the logo, Yes, the same happens with the big logo of Paul Ralph Lauren. Yes, okay. So it is very big because companies, yes, do that. Yes, they want other people to see because if you see other people, another uh, person wearing it with a big logo, you will see the logo. You will identify the clothes, for example. Yes, and you will say, okay, I will buy it. I like it. Yes. So what was that? It was a Paul Ralph Lauren. 
t-shirts, yes, for example, Adidas, Nike, yes, okay, so that's why, it says, why it's in the last part of the text, it says, why it was so important to change, yes, because it was upside down, yes, it says, because when you see other people using a product, you are more likely to buy it, yes, okay, well, that's depending on what you think. Tell me what you think at home. Do you agree with this text? Well, you will read the text, you will do exercises two, three, four. You have world building there, it's already explained, so you can work on the book now, on the exercises. From page 118, you will do one, two, three, four, five. So, and from page 119, you will do exercise eight, highlight the grammar charts, Highlight the grammar charts, passive voice, word building, the words, yes, okay, and from page 119, you will do exercise 8, 9, 10, yes, okay, and 11, no, because that was, because that was a game, and when you come back, we're going to do all together, yes, okay, here, pay attention, because uh, the passive voice is already presented, introduced, yes, okay, if I, Está presentada completamente, yo te presenté con los cambios de todos los, che, los tenses. Aquí en el libro solamente vas a ver el cambio con presente y con pasado. Por ejemplo, uh, an Apple product is recognized, es reconocido. Apple products are used, son usados. ¿sí? Uh, en el pasado, uh, the first Apple laptops were produced fueron producidas, the logo was turned round, ¿sí? El logo fue dado vuelta, ¿está? Entonces vas a ver, ¿sí? Vamos a la página 174, vas a subrayar el cuadro de Passive Voice y vas a ver ahí, ¿yes? ¿ok? Solamente la voz pasiva en presente y en pasado, voz activa, ¿sí? Vas a subrayar, vas a ver el by, the are, ¿sí? Aquí, todo lo que te expliqué, pero lo que yo te quiero eh, 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 que prestes, I want you to pay attention, es en esto. Que aquí vas a ver que está en presente y en pasado, pero vos ya tenés todo lo que te mando yo, que es lo que copié en la pizarra, es el cambio de passive voice en todos los tiempos, ¿está? Y con los ejemplos que di en la clase, ¿yes? Después tenés used to, que también vas a subrayar, tenés un ejemplo con affirmative, negative and interrogative. That was on page 174, ¿yes? ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Good. Lo mismo te pongo aquí. Yes, ok. Um, uh, drama reference. Page 174. Yes, from the class book. Ok. Is it clear? Good. Highlight the charts. Right. Well, uh, are you ready? So, let's go. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer, okay? Right, number one, from 10A. Uh, well, number two, number one is already done. Okay, one, true, two, false, three, false, four, true, five, true. Exercise three, yes, okay? Do you agree with the last sentence in the article? Bueno, eso ya lo hablamos. Is it true for you? Why? Why no? How important do you think logos are? They are very important. Yes. Do they make you buy some products? Uh, they are important because you can recognize the product. Yes. Okay. And I, and I say, ay, ¿cuál era la computadora de la manzanita? ¿Te acordás? Eso. Yes. Okay. So logos are very important. Institutions have their own logos. Yes, okay, okay, and with the logo, you feel, for example, in an institution, you feel part of it, yes, okay. ¿Qué decíamos cuando teníamos los, los escudos de cada nivel? Acá en el instituto tenemos el escudo de starters, de primary and secondary. Ah, yo ya estoy en el escudito del leoncito, yes, okay, good. Well, uh, if, I, uh, if we see a product being used a lot, We remember it and we think it must be good because it's popular. Entonces lo ves, decís, okay, it's popular. There are many people using it, wearing, yes, okay. Uh, it's famous, it's cool, 
Yes, okay, people use it so, oh my god, I will try it, I will buy it, yes? Uh, if we use it, if we see it used in a context that is positive, trendy, for example, in a trendy cafe, Starbucks, the logo of Starbucks, okay, you see the logo and you enter, because you say, okay, I like the coffee of Starbucks, Havana, yes, okay, Cafe Martinez, all of them have their logos are important because they make us remember a product, what I have said before, said before, it is a visual shorthand that helps producers easily to promote their products. Yes, okay. Ah, oh, it's an equivalent instituto. Yes, is it clear? And you use your logo. Number four. Yes, okay. Advertise. Advert. Advertiser. Advertisement. Advertising. Yes, okay. Five. One, produce. Yes, está usado como verbo. Producimos. Two, products. Productos. Yes. Three, producers. Productores. Yes, okay. Entonces, de acuerdo al contexto, vamos a hacer el cambio de la palabra que necesitamos con esto de word building. Ya lo hicimos anteriormente, yes, en los prácticos. Yes, en las pages, por cuadernillo, yes, some uh, test, Entonces, este año aparecen y no se van después, ok. Production and productive, yes, production and noun and productive day. I have, today, I am having a very productive day, yes, un adjetivo, sí, que va a modificar un sustantivo, ok. Eh, como tu día, productivo, yes, ok, good. And then we go to exercise 8, exercise 8, passive voice. No hay problema acá porque no tienes que pensar si es futuro, si es presente perfecto, porque solamente te va a testear el libro en voz pasiva, en presente o en pasado. Entonces la voz pasiva, en presente, am, at o is, más la tercera columna, pasado, was or were, más la tercera columna, ¿está? De los verbos, que es el past participle, y si no está en la columna, en la columna de past participle, past participle ya sabes que es un verbo regular, es el clear al cual le agregamos ed. Uh, are watched, are uploaded, was called, was made, was visited, is used, was sold, is owned. Exercise 9. Are designed, are spent, are put, prefer, try, acá ojo, eh? la mejor opción, eh? try, Make puede ser eh, un verbo normal, si sí, voz activa o voz pasiva. Are bought is recognized, 8, 9, decided, 10, complained, 11, changed, 12, was loved. Exercise 10. My bag was made in Italy. It was designed by Gucci, Gucci and it cost 100 um, pounds. My favorite film was directed by really Ridley Scott. It is called Thelma and Lewis. Yes, it starred Greena Davis. My home was built built in 1975. It is a city. It is in the city center. It is a city center apartment, and it has a three bedroom. My favorite book was written by Leo. Tolstoy. It is called Anna Karenina. It's a very famous book. And it's very long. Yes, okay. Good. And that was all. Entonces, tenemos la voz pasiva. Fue escrita, es escrito. Yes. Es comprado, es producido. Yes, okay. Fue producida. Let's go to page 120, 121. Describing design. Yes, okay. Uh, well, are you ready? I want you to read the sentences from 1 to 7 and match the adjectives in bold. Yes, okay. User friendly, old fashioned, basic, up to date, fashionable. Is it clear? Useful, okay. Do you buy, um, do you like design uh, style? Yes, are you interested in that? For example, okay, oh, that's very good sofa it is from a famous designer yes um you know 
design uh, design products yes are very um, fashionable they are very up-to-date uh, of course they are useful but uh, they are very up-to-date uh, maybe they use uh, uh, designers use bright colors yes okay well uh, exercise one one C one C easy to learn how to use user-friendly a user-friendly object yes is easy to use easy to learn 2e 2e old-fashioned old-fashioned out of date not modern yes ya sabemos esa 3a 3a basic 3a simple not complicated okay 4f 4f up to date is the latest the newest okay this is very up to date tiene lo último <clears throat> number five five fashionable is g popular at the moment yes 6d yes classic yes is d simple and traditional but always in fashion o sea por eso se dice que una persona ay viste clásico quiere decir, no que sea clásico quiere decir que es out of fashion yes is it clear so classic yes por eso, por eso dice classic design yes okay and it says simple and traditional but in fashion yes okay seven b seven is useful is b it does a good job yes útil okay well so we're going to uh how do you listen to music do you use records cassettes cds uh, downloads or streaming well i use um streaming nowadays yes but i also have cassettes and cds yes and i used to download music so in exercise four and five we are going to listen to a radio program about a famous product called sony walkman i bought um, i remember i started my job and well so i cash my money Yes, okay, I earned the money and then the first thing I bought was a Sony Walkman and it was a very, very nice object because at that moment you could go everywhere with your Walkman, you could ride your bike, you could walk and that was very up to date, yes, okay, it was very fashionable, okay, and it was expensive too, of course, yes, so everybody, you have to open it and you have to put your cassette there or maybe you can listen of course you can listen to the radio to your famous radio um, favorite radio yes and you put the cassette there and you go with your earphones and you can ride your bike book study it i studied yes with my walkman because i listen to my phonetics cassettes yes my cassettes of phonetics okay well let's go let's listen Track 82. Exercise 4 and 5 with the same listening, okay? Unit 10B. On your way to school or work this morning, you probably listened to music on your headphones. Maybe you downloaded your favorite music onto a device which holds thousands of songs, or played your favorite songs through your phone. These days, Listening to music is a personal activity that we all do on our own. But it didn't used to be so easy to get music or to listen when you were on the move. Okay, in the past, it wasn't very easy to find the music you liked. Yeah, you have to earn the money, uh, buy the cassettes, and sometimes the cassettes uh, didn't arrive. In the USA, they have this, the latest uh, music, but here, okay, no, they haven't arrived yet. Okay, so it was, uh, you really waited for it, yes? Okay, it was amazing, yes? Because uh, we evaluate um, things in another way. And I think, this is my personal opinion, I think now you have uh, things very easily. So that's why sometimes you don't care about your things, okay? This is because you think it's 
everything so simple. Yes, okay? But in the past, it wasn't like this. In the 70s, people used to buy music on vinyl records and play them on the vinyls. Yes, you have to earn money to buy your vinyls. Yes, okay? Algunos de los papás deben tener sus vinilos. Yes, okay? And it was expensive, yes, okay, to buy them. You have to earn money and get them. Yes. Record players at home. But in 1979, the Sony Walkman changed the way people listened to music. Here you have the photo of the Walkman. In the 80s and 90s, you used to see people everywhere with their Sony Walkman, a few cassettes, and a set of headphones on. Okay, so you have to take all your cassettes in your bag. Yes, okay? Okay, for example, if you travel, your mother say, to the summer holidays, your mother say, okay, will you, will you carry all those cassettes? We don't have more space here. Yes, so you have to take uh, your cassettes in your uh, school bag or something, in a kind of bag, yes, okay? In the end, Sony's product was so successful that other companies copied the idea. But Sony's original Walkman was always the most popular. By 1986, the name Walkman was included as a word in the English dictionary. Yes. Looking back, the idea of the Walkman seemed so simple, but simplicity was the reason for its success. At the time, some people thought it was a crazy idea. After all, who wanted a music player with no radio, no speakers, no way to record, and small headphones? They were wrong, of course. The Walkman did everything people wanted. It was small enough to carry, it played music, and... At that moment, small enough to carry, it played music, you can listen to the radio, yes, and... Oh my God, it was... Oh, heaven! And it was personal. Yes. Okay. I really miss those times. Yes. Okay. We really have a good time. Had a good time. And uh, when you bought your thing, when you bought something uh, uh, for, uh, like a Walkman, it was, oh my God, it, it was like if you were in heaven. Yes. Okay. Well, that's great. I wouldn't change. Uh, um, the 80s for example yes okay the 80s the late 70s okay good well uh one yes there we go number four yes okay uh which things from exercise three did it play cassettes yes number five one b you couldn't listen to music on your way to school or work two b other companies copied it because it was a very good idea. At the beginning it wasn't, but then it was. Yes, okay, of course it was because it was very, very successful. Everybody uh, wanted to have a workman and you were very cool if you had one. Yes, okay, 3B, it didn't do lots of different things, okay, but you will say now, okay, but uh, what things could you do with a workman? Just listen to music. Yes, okay, listen to music, yes, okay, now if you have another thing, the cell phone, for example, you receive calls, uh, you make, uh, make calls, you download music, and you can do many things, but at that moment, the workman was the best, yes, okay, well, exercise, you are going to do exercises, uh, highlight the grammar chart with use two, and do exercises eight and ten, yes, and eleven, eight, 10 and 11, yes? 8, 10 and 11. All right? Good. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. Number one, used to. Number two, went. Number three, used to play. Number four, didn't use to. Didn't learn, didn't use to take, use. Nine, eight, move. Yes, 10. Used to spend. Acordate, used to. Solía, lo conjugas al verbo, cuando está did and use, el verbo en infinitivo, cuando está el did, el verbo en infinitivo. Sigue la misma eh, regla del pasado, ¿eh? Ok, no metas la pata ahí, ¿eh? Be careful. Number one from ten, used to spend, didn't use to eat, did you used to have, 
Four used to play, didn't used to learn, did you used to write? Eleven. Okay, these are your uh, five sentences about your past. Eh? Estas son cinco. Uh, sentences that you used to do and five sentences you didn't used to do. Okay? When I was a child, I, was, I used to play with marbles, I used to play with dolls, I used to um, sunbathe when I was adolescent. Now I don't sunbathe anymore. Yes, okay, because the sun is very strong. Yes, okay. Uh, I like the sun, of course. Um, yes, there's things you used to do. I didn't used to teach. I didn't used to um, play football. I didn't used to watch horror films. Okay, is it clear? Good. So that was all from here. Yes, okay. Uh, muy bueno la clase de hoy. Tiene mu tuvo muchas cosas, muchos temas nuevos. Ojo con la voz pasiva. La podés ver y rever once and again because this is the advantage. This year you have all the videos of all the classes, okay? Do homework, activity book, and see you next class. Bye-bye. Happy weekend.